Hey there, welcome. This is my first groups tutorial, and I wanted to cover the very important basics. So that would be stationary harvesting, and having haulers uh, transfer resources between the stationary hauler, harvesters and the things like spawns and extensions. So to start off, I am using tutorial branch 4, so I'm using the fourth section of the tutorials code. And I'm going to be editing in Visual Studio Code. So I'll just open that up real quick. Open with code. There we go. So let's start with transferring harvesters into stationary harvesters. So the first thing to note is we've got two states. We've got, is the harvester uh, not full? If it's not full, harvest energy. If it is full, transfer that energy to the spawn or extensions. So we want to delete this part. We want haulers to do this instead of harvesters. So we're going to remove the, the transferring part. And we're also going to remove the check if it's full, because we don't need to do that. Now we've just got it harvesting. Wonderful. So now we can do haulers. So roll.hauler.js. We're going to copy some of the harvester code. And then we're also going to introduce those two states the hauler had before. So is the creep full? Creep.store.get use get free capacity. Is it greater than zero? Or otherwise, else, is it not? So if it is not full, we want to do we want to find dropped energy on the ground. So const dropped energy. Sorry, I also need to change this. Instead of roll harvester, it should be roll hauler. Okay. So const drop energy equals creek dot room, the room of the creek. And then we need to uh, find. So we're finding something in the room. We want to find dropped energy. So find dropped resources. Filter. We want to filter resources that have a resource type resource dot resource type equal to dropped or equal to resource energy there we go so now we're getting dropped energy but we only want one dropped energy so let's do const closest dropped energy and that will be using creep dot pose we're going to find closest by range to the creeps position of dropped energy Finally, we want to uh, we wanted this part of the let's just take from the upgrader, and instead of harvest, we're going to do pickup, and instead of sources, we want the closest dropped energy. There we go. So now the creep will find dropped energy, it will find the closest dropped energy, and it will try to pick it up. And if it's not in range, it will move to pick up the dropped energy. So the next part is having it transfer to the spawn. So if we're going to get spawn. So const spawn equals creep dot room. Find and we're going to find my spawns. Oh, yes. And then const closest spawn. We want to get the closest spawn, even though there's only one spawn right now. Creep dot pose. Find closest by range. I'm going to do spawns. And then we can copy this again. But instead of picking up, we're going to transfer. And transfer requires two arguments. It requires a target. Oh, requires a target. And it requires a resource type. So we're going to give it a closest spawn. And resource energy. And then move to closest spawn. There we go. Finally, we need to spawn upgraders and spawn haulers. So I'll clean this code up a bit, removing some console logs and formatting it a little, a little bit. And then down here, I also want to add continue statements. So that will make it go to the next creep every time this is true. Then instead of upgrader, we also need to run the hauler. So hauler, and then roll hauler, so to auto import. Just adjust that. And now we actually need to spawn them. We're running the hauler, but we don't actually have haulers to run. So we're going to copy this, paste it twice, and we're going to get the upgrader count, so upgraders, 
and we're going to get the hollow count. So hollows, and then upgrader instead of harvester, and hollow instead of harvester. We also need to spawn them, not just get the counts for them. So I'm going to copy and paste that twice. And then I'm going to replace these with elsif, because we, we can only spawn one creep at a time. So instead of harvester, it will be hollow. So harvesters, haulers. Instead of harvester, it will be hauler. Instead of upgraders, we we'll want to spawn upgraders. Instead of harvester, we want upgrader. And we want the role to be upgrader first. We also can change the bodies. So haulers no longer need carry, because they cannot carry resources. They're also stationary, so let's give them an extra an extra work part. Then we have haulers. Haulers don't need work parts. They're not harvesting sources. They are carrying energy from sources. We also want to give them more move and carry parts. And then we've got haulers. Let's add another move part to haulers. Wonderful. Uh, so now we're running the hauler, and we're spawning new upgraders and haulers. And we're doing that using the counts of each creep. We're also importing the hauler role now. So if we go up to upgrader, we need we don't want the upgrader to be harvesting from the source anymore. We want it to be using dropped energy. So we're gonna copy that and we're just gonna paste that. Boom. Now we can go back to scripts and we should see a completely different world. Here we've got stationary harvesters. You can see they're full, except they're still dropping energy on the ground. Energy here, energy here, and you can see they're bouncing back. This is just a private server. Don't worry about them. So we've got haulers here. Our haulers are carrying energy back and forth. They're full, so now he's transferring it to the spawn. And we don't have upgraders spawned right now, but if they were spawned in, uh, they, I can assure you, they would be working. So, so that's it. We transformed um, har harvesters that were going back and forth, and upgraders that were harvesting sources, to now upgraders picking up energy off the ground, haulers transferring energy between the sources, the energy on the ground, and the spawns, and harvesters that sit at the sources. Again, this is just a, just a bug. It's, it's nothing with our code. So we can actually watch the hauler here. He's going to walk over here. There's going to be energy on the ground. He's going to pick that up. He's going to pick up more energy over here. And he's going to carry that back to the spawn again. Wonderful. That's it. Uh, I've, I'm going to have the code on GitHub. And please either DM me on Discord or ask me in the comments if you need help.